may be the most successful medical treatment uh, ever invented in, or at least in, in, in recent decades invented. If you look at it from the outcome, we are approaching 10 million human beings who would not be on this earth with great likelihood if IVF had not come about. The embryo is the source of technology. It's the source of new technology. Embryonic stem cells is the perfect example, right? These cells that can become anything, they can be grown in a lab dish, but they kind of retain an aspect of the embryo, this potential. The secret of immortality is in that embryo because you and I uh, were mortal, but you know, barring a asteroid strike, you know, organismal life or human life is is just goes goes on and on. I'm wondering if you can talk a little bit about like some of the ethics that you've encountered there, as there are some of these uh, bigger and bigger ideas um, about what tech can do for fertility medicine. Yeah, you know, the I like to read my daughter fairy tales, and a lot of these fairy tales begin, you know, there's a middle-aged couple and they don't have a kid, right? And then they wish, they're wishing, they're wishing, and then a fairy comes and they get a kid but it's not quite right, right? It's got wings or it's, uh, you know, got kind of some kind of um, sprite that they, they'll get. That's like, that's that the premise of so many fairy tales. Now, technology makes this possibility kind of concrete uh, to your point, which is that, uh, you know, especially with the gene editing, there is this strong drive to apply it and to try and, and cure disease, although it's a little bit hard to say that it, an embryo that you're making has a disease, you've actually made it, um, and maybe to improve the species. I mean, this is a big deal. 